Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go click that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bells so you know when I post a new video. So today I'm here with the one and only it's Christmas the Bobby. Christmas Bobby. Back with another banger. <laughs> so we are actually back with another banger. And today we're doing something a little bit different. I haven't really seen anyone do this quite often, honestly. Let's get it, you feel me? Young but, um, said it. stop playing. Mm, you feel me? Stop playing with the gang. Okay, so this is actually my sister's. We're <clears> borrowing <throat> it. Pretty much, it is called the Date Deck. It's a bunch of cards that like are different levels of like, like you know, like connections and deep and all that stuff. So it's like cards that spark conversation between you and your special someone and pretty much you know you gotta answer it and just see like it, it's a good like connection kind of conversation uh-huh icebreakers and yeah just getting into deep talks without feeling like the pressure of you have to come up with the subject or yeah. topic of like damn should i should ask this person or i should have asked him or i should have asked her this I, it kind of helps you out and yeah. comes up with it for you. It takes the pressure off of you, you know, and eases the pressure on the person being asked as well. And honestly, I feel like it kind of brings you and your partner closer because yeah. it's like, you, know. you learn more about each other, yeah. like without even, like I said, having the pressure of having to think of that yourself mm -hmm. or, you know, having to not want to answer something like that. But it's like a game. Like I said, it's an icebreaker. It's like a third party pretty much asking. just asking questions you want to ask but you're scared to ask yes, <laughs> so exactly. these are the questions so the third that are party here for you. Car, <laughs> is asking it for you it's asking the it for you what can get better Baby, so pretty much oh, don't sorry. panic stay poised <laughs> don't panic stay poised oh my gosh that's like a new line huh i'm just saying you know people be panicking feel me sometimes you gotta spin back on these ops you feel me they just panicking they don't know what to this do this man that game with him <laughs> we're gonna be picking a random card out of here and reading you guys off what the card says and then we're just gonna answer it on our personal feelings um it's not really like for speaking for everyone it's pretty much for us mm -hmm. and how we feel but also comment down below if you agree with us on some of these questions or if you don't we would love to know love to know your feedback we're going to interact in the comments so you want to you pick first i want you to pick first i know you always say ladies first but i want you to pick first see i'm a true gentleman at heart but all right let's get it um yeah so there's different colors and everything but you can't really see it so there's like different levels there's like a three a four and they're just all mixed up so you could pick whichever i highly recommend you guys to do this as well because we kind of did this on valentine's day and i feel like it brought us a little bit closer we like know more things about each other so it's just something to do i don't know where she got this but um once i ask her i'll link it down below for you guys so level four what are you most embarrassed about what I'm gonna assume we're gonna answer these things like on a relationship level or just in general. I feel like just in general. I feel like what are you most embarrassed about? I don't know what I'm embarrassed about. Want me to pick another one? Yeah, that I don't really kind of like that. Question. That's like a tough question. What am I embarrassed about? I don't, I don't know. We're gonna pick the juicy and spicy question. So if we pick a question that's like kind of like lean, like who wants to know what I'm embarrassed about? No. What is love? Okay. <laughs> what is love? Quite honestly. Let me know if you want me to pick a different question. God only knows. No, we could answer, we could kind of go what we think love is. Yeah, but you're answering this, right? I'm not. We answering. both can answer. All right. I thought one picks and then the other person. All right. I'm with it. You can chime in. Oh. Okay. What is love? So you want to know what's actually funny? I feel like in all of my relationships, not all but like some relationships like in the moment i was like i'm so in love like i love this person and da, 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 da. and then like when you break up you kind of like really realize it's like was this love like was this love or was this just heavy ass lust and i feel like that's like what it was for like all my relationships so to be completely heavy honest lust? do you think it was heavy lust yeah no, in the moment it was love. Too. That's what I'm saying. No. In the moment it was love. You think it's love, yeah. but then you come out of the relationship and you kind of like 
reevaluate your whole relationship and it's like was that love uh, but at the time like you you just saying that because you're beginning something new and you're leaving something like i feel in that moment like it was love in the moment yes i said that but to me i'm saying truthfully deep down i don't think it was love yeah but i feel like people try to like just because they learn something from it they try to say like oh that wasn't love like now looking back at it like nah i don't think so I, I don't know. So. For me, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But for me, love, I really don't have a definition for that because um, I, mm, but I mean, I like. I think love is like one of the best for someone. Yeah. At all, at all times, you know, maybe more than what they want for themselves sometimes. Yeah. Or like, even if, even if you were or weren't in their life, like, you still want them to, you know, do good or, you know, be successful or yeah. obtain whatever they want it is in life just to see them, you know, happy. Yeah, but I feel like, I don't, I feel like for me that comes with the type of person you are. Because I'm the type of person that wants that for, like, everybody in my life, whether, like, someone has done me wrong or not. I mean, I guess you could say, like, love, because that's, that's love. That's love. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Shit. Right. I don't like that question, because I truly can't give a definition of what is love, because I Word. really That is love. a tough question. I don't know. We've had tough quite Like, it's two tough questions. First, <laughs> even. There you go. Okay. Tell me about the most defining moment in your life. What is defining? Like, what do they mean by defining? Can I, like, look this up? Like, the, like... Like what stands out to you, I guess. Like the that moment in your life where you were like, yes. I kind of want to say the most defining moment of my life is, uh, I want to say my senior year in college. When I realized, because I feel like, you know, it's hard for a 17 year old to know. And this is like before, like this is like during social media, like Instagram just came around and it wasn't as big as it was. YouTube wasn't as big as it was. This is like 2016. This is like 2012, rather. I said my senior year of college. All right, so this is like 2016. Uh, Instagram came around in 2012. Um, so 2016, college, like the final moment for me is just, you know, and I feel like you had to go to college to know because it's hard at 17 to know what you want to do with your life. It's hard for a 17 year old to know, like, if I want to go to college, you know, I so agree. a lot of kids go to college by default because of what their parents taught them. Yeah. And they don't really know what they want to do. So they just call They just go to college, kind of just wasting time figuring it out. But at the same time, <laughs> like college is what helped me figure out that the system is designed for us to like fail and being dead and be a behind. Mm -hmm. Like, so college taught me that. And in my senior year, when I stopped playing sports, I had a clearer outlook on everything because I started working and figuring out what I wanted to do with my life. And it, it was, I didn't want to be in the rat race no more. Like, I didn't want to be in the debt. I didn't want to be another, like, college statistic or graduate still living at home or still just going through life. Uh, work, eat, sleep, use the bathroom and eventually get a house and pay a mortgage. Now you're in debt with, now you have to keep that job because you have to pay your car, you have to pay your house, you mm -hmm. you know, all these bills, like the regular mediocre lifestyle. It's not to poop on anybody who likes doing those things, who likes going to work and likes doing all that. But college helped me realize like, that's not what I want. I want ownership for my family. I want to leave a legacy and something behind for my kids to own and kids to eat off of long before I'm gone and be my own boss, you know? Okay. So I would say that's the, like senior year of college was a huge defining moment for me and what I kind of wanted to go in the direction of my life, for sure. I agree, I agree. That's nice. What's the story of the first time you got drunk? Yeah, I'm trying to find lit ones, I don't know. Um, my story isn't crazy. I was a sophomore in high school. I was just like lit and everybody was like, yo, this nigga, like, did you even drink that much? <laughs> and I was sucked at beer pong. You sucked? Yeah, it was my first time. I was lit at beer pong just because I was drunk. It was my first time. Sober, I'm like, 
Not good. Nah, if you know me, you know I'm beer pong all American. But my first first time getting drunk, I sucked at it. Like it was my first time ever playing it though. And first time being drunk, I, I don't even think I drank that much. Like a few beers. But I was 15 and YouTube, like you feel me? And my classmates and I was like, yo, how much did you drink, my boy? Like you just broke us body. I was just chatty. Chatty pen. Just like somewhat lit first time, or whatever. My first time I got drunk, I went to a house party and Mine was a house party too. Yeah. I went to a house party in like someone's basement and I was drunk. Like I had no like alcohol intolerance at all. So like two shots I'm lit. But mind you, my dumbass had like lines of shots and How freaking cups. I can't even remember. I don't know. Shout out my PC gang, man. You feel me? PC was lit. We was lit in high school. We was turned to God. So I was in high school gang. for sure. Shout out the gang. I forget though. But yeah, I was with my friend. And I was the drunkest I've ever been. I couldn't walk, nothing. And all I kept telling was this my in friend. Town? Yeah, no, this was in the next town over. But yeah, so pretty much I kept telling my friend, call my dad, call my dad. Like I was scared for myself. I couldn't function, I couldn't see. I felt like I was drugged. Literally felt like I was drugged. I literally, like my body was being dragged across. Like my dad, like his saying was, you look like Jesus walking in. Like, you know, when he's like on the cross, like I had two people like carrying me. It was the worst thing ever. I, w I was, was mad. Did he panic for you? Was he scared for you? He knew you were gonna be all right. Honestly, I couldn't stop throwing up and everything. So I don't know. They, My mom thought that she was gonna have to take me to the hospital. But like my dad was just yelling at me. He's like, you're so fucking stupid. <laughs> you know my dad, he's like that. But like, yeah, it was really bad. All, all I kept asking was just call my dad, call my dad, call my dad. Young wild thing. Yeah. Wow. Now, I, now I like know my level of intolerance, so that's just never gonna happen again. That was like the first time I've ever gotten drunk. So what is? What do you know? Mm -hmm. You know. Another card says, "Between us, who is touchier?" Oh. <laughs> what do you think? I feel like it depends on our moments. Yeah, we both have our moments. We both have our moments. Because we're not like, really like that. I feel like. Definitely not out in public, but by ourselves, I feel like we're more, obviously. Yeah. But um, like, I don't know, I just feel like we're not like, we're not like OD affectionate or like on top of each other. Yeah, like, no, no, no. Not, like, we like, like our space. Yeah, we <laughs> just be chilling like, like right next to each other. It's not like, you know, yeah. like. But I feel like, some, I feel like. But we have our moments where it's like, all right, like I'm in the mood or like, yeah, I, yeah. like. But I feel like I'm a little good, touchier. Girl. I'm a little touchier. Cause I'm more of like, hmm, like like that. I'm not like on him touchy, but like I'm more of like a like I just want to touch you kind of person. Touch the beard. Yeah, I touch the beard. And when we sleep, do you ever notice I can't fall asleep without touching you? Whether it's like our toes intertwining or something, or a leg, or our back even touching or something. I feel like I, I have to that. have a little speck of you to sleep. Yeah. I don't know why, but I do that. So like, I'm like weirdly touchy, but we're not like overly like down each other's throats touchy mm -hmm. at all. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, we kind of like our space. For sure. Yeah. Depends on like the move. Yeah, it depends on our move. For sure. I, I feel did, like it'd be 50-50 though. I did definitely not notice that, know that. But really? I, you know, like when I sleep, like, like I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm a heavy sleeper. You would say I'm a heavy sleeper? Ish. Once you're knocked, you're knocked. I don't know, <laughs> yeah, sometimes I'll be feeling shit, I'll be waking up like... No, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not heavy where he's like, he'll sleep through freaking everything. But he's he's like a heavy sleeper. Like, like once I'm knocked. into sleep, it's just like, it's just like, yo, don't bother me. I feel like. Like once I'm like sleeping and shit, like don't try to wake me up, don't try to... Yeah, it's annoying. Like, I'm that And he'd be person. falling asleep dumb quick. Don't quit. That should be irking me. Your boy works hard. Man. Yeah, he do. That's why I don't bother him. I just boy like him works hard. 
All right, guys, but that's about it for these questions. If you guys like this and want to see more questions like these, or maybe even juicier questions, let us know, comment down below, and give this video a thumbs up so we know that you guys want to see a part two, even spicier questions. For sure, stop mm -hmm. playing as we got a deck of cards. We, we literally got a full, got box, a of full cards. box of cards. So we come up with these. more videos for this, you feel me? So you feel me, just comment below if y'all want to see it. I know y'all want to see part two. Stop playing. Why you gotta act like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright guys, but that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching.